Good morning, children. Now, today in maths, we will revise the chapter that is chapter number 16, measurement of weight. Now, this chapter already we have done, but again, why we have taken? As whenever you go to market, you can see different types of things. Shopkeepers are taking the weight of the things and then give to your parents according to whatever demand it. Okay. So weight of the things that you need that is a, that is called standard unit, but we have learned non-standard that is heavy and light and estimation. How to develop your estimation related to weight that uh, through different activity and exercise we will learn now. We have already learned then also we will learn more about it. Okay. So that your uh, concept of weight also developed. So here you can see your man has given certain exercise. This is activity come exercise. We will do it now. Compare and write which one is heavier below. We have to read one by one. And images of that picture you have to think so that you can understand which one can be heavier. See here in number one, a bucket of water or a spoon of medicine. Both of things you are using while taking bath, you are using a bucket full of water. Isn't it? And you fill a bucket and with that you take bath. And if you are sick, you take medicine that also in a spoon. No, here heavier thing you have to write. A bucket full of water is heavier or a spoon of medicine. Easily you can think this picture and you can say that a spoon of medicine is lighter than bucket of water. So here answer you have to write the heavier of this. So we write here correct answer is a bucket of water that is heavier. Isn't it? Answer heavier. Here we will write heavier. Heavier object. Heavier objects. Okay. A bucket of water is heavier than a spoon of medicine. Take second example. Your weight or your father's weight. If you stand on the weight machine, whose weight will be more? Your or your father? Obviously your father's weight is taller, he is heavier than you. So, your father's weight. Isn't it? So, this way you have to think and you have to write the correct answer. Now, third one, a quill or a pen. Quill means the feather of a bird. A quill or a pen. Which one is heavier? Obviously, that is a metal one. This is the lighter one. Quill is lighter, so the pen will be heavier. So, a pen that will be heavier. Okay. Now, next, your maths textbook or maths notebook. If you take in one hand your maths textbook, in other hand your maths notebook, which one will be heavier? Maths textbook will be heavier, not the notebook, that is the smaller and pages are also less, less but in maths textbook pages are also more and size is also bigger, okay. So, maths or maths textbook. Length and it is heavier than the length. 
So which one will be made in here? A hammer. Okay. That is heavy. So while reading you, hmm, you observe the image in your mind of this picture. No? Then only you can estimate. No? Yes. And apple or a strawberry. Which one? Both are tasty. Both are fruit. But apple size is bigger than and strawberry that is very small. So which one is very and apple? Okay. So different different types of objects, name you also choose and you can also estimate the weight of the things which one can be heavier, which one is lighter. This way with this type of activity can exercise will develop your this concept of weight you also after observing the video do practice with different types of objects it will be helpful for your in your real life also clear